And our next hymn, uh, our hymn of response, is from Voices United 503, When Seed Falls on Good Soil. <laughs> Each day there are opportunities to give of ourselves for the benefit of others, to share our gifts of time, money, expertise, experience. As you consider which of those opportunities you might support, please remember your church whose ministries are continuing even though the sanctuary doors remain closed. As we hear in scripture, let us give as each is able according to the blessings God has given each of us. We present our offerings that they may be used to extend your liberating reign. With them, we offer our very ministries, that each of us may be part of your answer to the cries of the world. Amen. Let us continue now to join our hearts and minds in prayer with the prayers of the people. O God of unreserved love, we come before you this day to offer thanks for the many blessings that you provide us. We thank you for the many pleasures of summer, for vacation time, family gatherings, recreational pursuits. We thank you for the growth that we see in the world around us, from the produce of the gardens and fields. We also give you thanks for the love of our families and friends, for the companionship of our congregation, and this mostly peaceful land in which we live. We thank you for the joys that are being celebrated here in this family of faith, for hope and for healing of heart or mind, body or spirit, for celebrations and anticipations, for love shown and received. But even as we give you thanks, O oh God, we recognize that while your kingdom is forever being sown into our lives, and into the world, it doesn't always take root. 
Sometimes it doesn't find a place to grow as we would want. And so we pray for ourselves and others when life makes us hard and resistant, like a well-trodden path. Where old habits, old systems, and old patterns of thinking keep your message from growing. We pray for ourselves and others when we become so immersed in the short-lived, shallow, rock-hiding soil of the moment, where your way of life too easily gets blown away by the wind of this fad, this distraction, this competing interest. We pray for ourselves and others when our fears, our insecurities, our worries and stresses, our desires and self-absorption tangle like thorns around your grace and choke it into silence. We pray, dear God, for your peace and justice to take root and grow in those parts of the world where violence is commonplace, and for peace and justice here at home. We lift in prayer those who are suffering and those who are mourning. We remember the lonely and the brokenhearted, and those who are afraid. We pray for the hungry and dying, for those who are sick, those in hospital, those isolated from loved ones because of COVID-19 restrictions. We pray especially for those of this community of faith in need of your comforting and healing presence. We pray this for Lionel Dobson, presently in hospital, recovering from major surgery, and his wife, Barbara Erickson, also recovering at home from a recent medical procedure. Remind us, loving Lord, that we are to be your feet and your hands and your voice in this world. Remind us that we are be, to be your love, clothed in human skin. Send us into those situations in which we are most needed. Send us with food for the hungry, companionship for the lonely, comfort for the afflicted. May we be fertile soil for your seeds of the kingdom, producing a crop of goodness that is 30, 60, even 100 times as much as has been planted in us. Strengthen our community of faith. Give wings to our hopes and feet to our commitment that we may continuously praise you with joy and serve in the way of our Savior, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray and whose prayer we now say aloud and together. Our Father, our Mother, Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Our next hymn from More Voices 174, Soil of God, You and I. To live out the good news of Jesus Christ in your own life. Love others 
even those who are difficult to love. Care for others, even those whose hearts seem like stone. Show compassion to all, even those who choke out goodness around them. And be gracious, patient, and kind to yourself in living out the gospel in all you do. And from Voices United 420, verse 4. by the word of God, the way of Christ and the guidance of the Holy Spirit planting in us, growing in us, bearing within us a harvest of healing love for a needy world. Amen. And the postlude that I'm sharing today took root in my heart, mind, and soul as a music student uh, when my teacher shared it with me. And this is uh, one of the Montmartre musicals by Franz Schubert. Thank you. 